you know, I think there are like a couple of reactions that people have. One is fear and the other compassion. And I think what happens um, when fear is coming up is that people are looking at people who are suffering with addiction or mental health and they're thinking to themselves, I am also a human being, which means I could also be eligible for that experience. And not only would I suffer with it, but people would judge me mm. for suffering with it, the way that I'm judging people now. And I think that that instinct to other the other person, to make fun of them, to judge them, to ridicule, is an attempt to make someone else not human so that 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 possibility is no longer something that can ha that can never happen to me that can only happen to those people right and so I think the jokes and the remarks and everything are, are essentially about um, the fear that that could be you know the suffering that I'm looking at could happen to me and that uh, not only would it be painful but because of the stigma, it would be humiliating. So, right. I uh, wish that people understood about what it's like to be um, neurodivergent or to be dealing with mental health. What is it that you wish people understood that they don't? That you're also human yeah. and that you have feelings and you have identity and you have knowledge and there's all the different parts of you that make you beautiful. I think what we struggle with in general is stigmatizing people to the point where, again, like they're lacking that connection and that's what we need as human beings to feel like we belong. Right. So I wish that like people understood that people who are struggling are still just people. I'm not sleepy and there is no place I'm going to. Hey, Mr. Tambourine Man, play a song for me. In the jingle jangle morning, I'll come follow.